Hello guys and welcome back to the Italian job. Today we're going to be playing in Division 5. Now as you can see, we have over 450 grand. Yes we do, like pretty much everything uh, sold as you can see. Uh, most of my uh, contracts have been sold now. All of my healing cards have sold. If you checked out my Twitter, uh, you will see that I had a crazy like two hours where I sold like 500 consumer uh, healing cards or something and it was crazy. So most of the contracts sold for like 250 coins, 300 coins. So uh, we made a fair bit of money on them. I still got about 50 left over, but I sold all my healing cards, which is great. And if you also made some investments in some consumables, probably best to try and sell them now and try and double your money. So uh, if you bought the, them for 150 coins, try and get uh, to sell them for 300 coins. So I'm gonna stick with this team. Hopefully we can get off to a winning start in Division 5. So we found our opponent in our first match of Division 5 and he's got 96 chemistry, so not full chemistry. And that is... I think he's attempted to do a hybrid there, but Palacio doesn't quite link to him. It's ba basically a Premier League team with a couple of Serie A and Courtois. Intercepted. Ball to Pazzini. Back over to Cherchi. Here's a chance. He's taking it, our first chance of the match is 1-0. So, uh, well, he's got a bar to right back. He's obviously got more pace than Bonaventura. And is a hard right back to uh, get past. So, uh, I, I, I'd probably suggest for me uh, to attack down the other wing more often than using Bonaventura because it should bring us... Oh, I'm sorry if we scored. Pato Pazzini. It should bring us more luck, although this time we've actually scored. Keeling intercepts the ball. Still going. Plays the ball to Diamante. Just have a shot, Diamante. Oh, what a goal. And Diamante's surely got to whip this in. Decent corner. Oh, great header from Chiellini. Right in the top corner. Diamante. Ball to Pazzini. Lovely work from Pazzini. Great touch. Oh, God, my controller disconnected. <laughs> So there we go, a 5-0 win. So after that great win, I'm going to keep with the same team. Diamante's a good center attacking mid. Uh, compared to Cassano, dribbling-wise, I prefer Cassano a bit, but uh, Diamante still has great dribbling, and Diamante has, for me, a better shot than Cassano, but again, Cassano has a decent shot anyway. And obviously Diamante offers a lot more pace. I find Diamante more... Oh, he's got a Premier League team. Uh, Sturridge, I keep him coming up against Sturridge recently for some reason. Uh, oh, God, that is a very nice team. Anyway, uh, Diamante, for me, is more of a midfielder, whereas Cassano is more of a forward. I think Pazzini and Cassano have a better partnership up front than Diamante and Pazzini, but we'll see how things go for this match. Oh, we've hit the crossbar, but it's in. Who is that? It's Chiellini again. He scored two games in a row. Diamante. Bonaventura has space to work something from here. Churchy is making a brilliant run. Great touch. Oh, score. Yes, Pazzini with the rebound. Pazzo Pazzini. Oh, no, it's frozen. Yes, I believe he's quit. Again, domination. There we go. Two wins. Oh no, Pazzini's injured. Pazzini's injured. For how long? Pazzini's injured for two matches. Cannot believe this. We're going to have to play Gabbiadini up front. Because uh, we, we've sold all our healing cards. Uh, which is a shame, to be honest. So we're going to have to play with Gabbiadini up front instead of Pazzini. I did sell all my injury cards, which uh, maybe was a bit stupid of me, but I will buy one. Uh, maybe we can finish the episode with Gabbiadini because Pazzini's out for two matches. Oh my god, he's got Ibarbo and Balotelli up front. Uh, he's got a fairly fast squad, a bit, bit random with Felici and Bernard in there, but mainly Serie A. Mm -hmm. 
Referee, come on. <laughs> what? Good challenge. Here's Gabbiadini. Plays the ball to Diamanti. Oh, for God's sake, what was I doing? We've had a couple of good chances so far and we haven't taken them. We really should be one or two goals up. Uh, probably my fault, really, that uh, we haven't scored yet. But things are looking good with Bonaventura. There it is. There's the goal. Oh, Gabbiadini. 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 Oh, what a shot. A rocket of a shot he's got. Gabbiadini. 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 Gabbiadini again. There it is. There's the second goal. Decilio picked out by Diamanti. Decilio, good work. And Diamanti makes a good overlap. And he cuts back inside. Oh, good work. Good work. Move out the way. Thank you. 3 0. Diamanti. Okay, 4 0. This guy's paused it. I assume he's going to quit. Yes, he has. There we go. That's two quits this episode. Gabbiadini with two goals and one assist. Great debut for Gabbiadini. We will keep with him for another match. And we just need to win one more match to stay in Division 5. So moving on into our fourth game and our final game of the episode. The last guy we played wasn't the best. Understandable why he quit and why I was winning 4 0 already. But we could be coming up against a good opponent here. Oh, this sweaty team. Mural Ibarbo. Di Natale at Cam, in form Bonucci. He's even got a Barty at right back. Quadrado one wing, El Sharawi the other. Vidal, that is a really good team. This is going to be very hard to beat. Uh, but I will try my best. This is going to be the toughest game of the episode, definitely. This is going to be another ball into Ibarbo. There it is. Bonucci should have it. Yes, he does. I think the one thing that is going to keep him in this game is Vidal. I mean, Vidal, he just gets through so much work defensively and in attack. He, he's going to be disrupting our attack a lot. There we go, Vidal. Told you Vidal would be there. Could work. Oh. Oh, Gabbiadini. Oh, look how has he missed that. How has he missed that? Oh, my God. Take that. Can Churchy get to it? Yes, he can. Get a ball in. Gabbiadini. Yes. 1-0. Gabbiadini. Right, Chris, Crescito's out of position. But De Rossi picks up. And again. Crescito's still out of position. Chirini's there. Maybe we can hold him off for a bit. Yes, we've done well. Bonaventura picks it up. Bonaventura. Got Quadrado taste, uh, chasing him down. Not tasting him. <laughs> that would be worrying. Bonaventura just shoves Quadrado aside and now he takes on Abati he gets past Abati cuts inside Quadrado has some revenge but Gabbiadini gets it and that ball is terribly slow moving through the pitch Bonaventura picks it up De Rossi Bonaventura Gabbiadini 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 Oh my god, that was an awful challenge, but the referee somehow didn't see it, even though he was right in front of it. Gabbiadini's on side. Someone have a shot. No? Okay. Wow! Really? Oh, great challenge from Crescito. Good ball to Bonaventura, and Gabbiadini sets off foot. Gabbiadini! Great shot, great goal to Gabbiadini against Quadrado. Gabbiadini to Cherchi. It is 3 0. Well, there we have it. Another good win. Gabbiadini with another good performance. 3 0. Gabbiadini with two goals and an assist again, I believe. Yes. Man of the match for Gabbiadini. So we found a great replacement if Pazzini 
isn't playing up to standard. We won all four games in this episode. We just need to win two more games. We need to get four points from six games to get promotion. And hopefully we can do that next episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe so you don't miss another video. Uh, comment below about the episode, feedback, maybe players I should consider buying. Have a good day, guys. Goodbye.